Uh, thank, whoa, okay, that, that works. Um, thanks a lot, Jacob. Um, up next, and, and again, uh, <laughs> pronunciations, uh, Graciano, uh, I believe. Um, Terenzi from, from oh, excellent, from Englobe uh, is going to be presenting here. So, um, and then we'll uh, hopefully uh, try to get everyone out on time because uh, we're coming up on lunch and uh, nothing's worse than a bunch of hungry people. So, um, and it looks like uh, we're ready. So are we ready in the back? And okay. Good morning. Uh, I am Graziano Terenzi. I'm CEO of Inglot Technologies. And uh, I'm going to show today uh, something related to our AR media plugins and the 3D tracker that we have developed recently. Uh, when we started working on augmented reality, there was a, re there was a real need uh, by end users and content creators to create easily augmented reality experience. It was something that could not be done at that time without programming. So we have been working on a solution that could help architects, content creators, animators, and so on to create uh, augmented experience easily. Um, uh, our company for this re uh, is specialized in developing augmented reality solutions um, uh, and software, and we have uh, specifically developed this uh, augmented reality platform called AR Media, and all the related plugins for Google SketchUp, 3ds Max, uh, Autodesk Maya, Maxon Cinema 4D, and uh, Vectorworks. Um, we, are, we have more than 35,000 registered users for the plugin uh, worldwide. And uh, we also keep working on the platform from uh, uh, applied research point of view. Uh, what about uh, augmented reality plugins? Uh, basically, the plugins are designed for content creators. So we are uh, uh, targeting people who work uh, on uh, content creation software, and we address their needs providing uh, tools that can, they can uh, use directly inside the, the software that they currently use to create their uh, 3D content. And uh, for this reason, the plugin is easy to learn, and uh, it's also something that enables a one-click AR experience. So this is something that is uh, really important with that. Uh, uh, most of all, it is multi-platform. It works on uh, Windows and Mac, and it uh, allows to export for free players, uh, uh, like the AR Media Player, which is available for Windows, or Mac, uh, iOS, and it will also be available very soon for, uh, on Android. Um, it fits really well in several application scenarios. Uh, we have users from many application fields, uh, including architecture, construction, and engineering, uh, marketing, design, education, cultural heritage, publishing. So the plugin is uh, really horizontal on the, this point of view. Um, most of all, uh, programming is not required. So uh, people, uh, that is not required to have programming skill uh, to use the software. This is a, a, a short overview of what the, the plugin allows to do. Um, so you have uh, uh, these uh, plugins, as I told you, available for uh, SketchUp, now is a uh, Trimble software, uh, for Autodesk Maya, 3ds Max, uh, Cinema 4D, and Nemeshek vector works and also C engineer. Um, you can create uh, in the, the content, the augmented reality experience directly inside the software using the interface of the software. So it's really easy to, to create. Uh, this is a simple view of the mobile model inside Maya, for example. This is Maya. And uh, uh, the software allows also to manage uh, layers uh, that are included in the software. So if you prepare multi-layer models, you are able to export for your player and uh, let users, uh, customers, uh, enjoy this uh, construction. Uh, it also enables uh, and uh, um, disables se uh, section plans across any axis. So you can uh, uh, section uh, your model across any axis uh, uh, that you can imagine and uh, rotate also and do any, uh, anything with that. Uh, you 
are also enabled to do a lot of other things with the, with the software. Specifically, you can uh, um, employ uh, shadows, uh, search lights, and uh, you have uh, the possibility to include the crisp shadows, but you can also uh, include soft shadows. So uh, it's something that uh, users can do easily by uh, sweeping uh, uh, an option in the, in, in the player. Uh, you can uh, include animations, so you, users can do a lot of things with this software. We support several kinds of animations, including skinning, morphing, uh, with some limitation, but uh, it works really fine. And it allows to export to iOS also. This, so this is a player that uh, you, you have a model in 3ds Max, for example. You can directly export it to to uh, the the iOS player and also preview it. It allows to uh, create geolocated content. So you can also create geolocated content uh, with the uh, plugin and export for the player, set up the coordinates, uh, use the gyroscope, do whatever you like. This is an example in the Roman forums in Rome. And this is uh, the temple of Vesta in uh, Roman's forum. You are looking at it. OK. And uh, what about uh, um, the tree tracking? Uh, this is uh, an outcome of a research project that we have done with the European Research Center last year. Um, and um, it allows to identify and track uh, complex uh, 3D objects uh, um, independently of their size and geometry. So uh, they can be small objects, big objects, it, it is uh, irrelevant. Uh, it is quite robust with respect to change of light conditions with some limitations, but uh, it works uh, right, uh, quite fine. Um, most uh, importantly, it allows to manage uh, uh, the augmentation uh, of the real world view of an object uh, uh, quite easily. So it's uh, really integrated with uh, our uh, 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 platform and it's uh, nice. And uh, it, interestingly enough, it can be employed in different application scenarios. Like the plugin, this will be an horizontal tool that we will uh, provide as a tool for non programmers uh, very soon, but also as uh, an SDK for developers in the uh, uh, close future. Um, uh, ap uh, application scenarios include uh, architecture, engineering, constructions, uh, maintenance, automotive, cultural heritage for. Uh, just to mention some. This is a, a demonstration that we have uh, published uh, a week ago uh, on YouTube. Uh, we will probably also release the application uh, which, is, which is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, this is an ordinary maintenance application for a car engine. Uh, the application uh, recognizes and uh, tracks the, this engine uh, thus, uh, uh, ad, uh, adding uh, uh, information regarding the oil uh, um, uh, check, the, uh, uh, the um, windshield, the fluids, uh, the coolant, uh, and so on. And uh, uh, as you can see, it can uh, not only show where the spaces are located, but also include information about how to replace the, the object. This is one example. You see uh, that the tracker is quite uh, uh, accurate, and it tracks the real object in, uh, in uh, this case. It, um, see it is something that is uh, actually, the, the video has reached, um, but today I, mean, I think something like 100,000 visualization on YouTube. It's quite fine. Um, this other example uh, shows how the uh, 3D uh, tracker uh, works also on uh, a real world building, but not a big building, uh, a large building. It is a, 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 a house and um, uh, it, um, uh, it is interesting under certain respects because uh, the house uh, does not uh, con uh, contain so much features. And the uh, user here is in front of the house, uh, which uh, is uh, now visualizing on his uh, iPad. This is the application uh, starting. 
and uh, uh, you, uh, I don't know if it can be seen from uh, uh, back of the room, but uh, uh, there is a, an overlay of wireframe model now, right now on uh, on the uh, on the house, and uh, uh, you will be able to see also the technical uh, uh, some te technical system in uh, the house, like the uh, water system, the electric system, and the heating system. So they will show up uh, right now. So this is the uh, hydraulic system, and this is the electric system, and this other one is uh, the heating system. Okay. So you understand that this uh, uh, tracker uh, works enough. One minute. Oh no. Okay. So uh, you you say uh, you can see how this uh, system um, uh, works uh, uh, fine with uh, uh, with small uh, size objects and medium size objects, but it also works fine with large scale objects. And this uh, an example of using the uh, the tracker with the uh, a large scale building, in this case the Colosseum in Rome, uh, and uh, you can uh, see, uh, you will see right now how the tracker works. So it basically uh, identifies the 3D um, uh, model, uh, the 3D object, uh, adds uh, different uh, information tags, and uh, uh, including video and 3D, but this is a 3D Example: So you have a section of uh, of the Colosseum reconstructed in 3D that appears just in front of you, and it is registered on the 3D Colosseum. It is a 60 degrees of freedom tracker, and uh, you can uh, approach uh, the Colosseum and see the model uh, approaching. So this is quite nice. It is not uh, demonstrated in this video, but it works this way. Uh, this is another uh, point of view. Of the system, of, uh, from, of the application, from the, for the application, and uh, it's quite nice to see how the the system works, also from the different points of view around the same 3D uh, 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 real object, which is quite quite big. Okay. And uh, this uh, other example that I invite you to enjoy at our booth uh, in downstairs uh, is uh, a real-world uh, maquette. Uh, and uh, it basically demonstrates an application working on a real-world small size object. So this is the very same technology applied to different size objects. Uh, if you like, you, I will show uh, it later, okay, uh, in, at the uh, exhibit uh, room. Um, if I have to close the presentation, I, okay, I will, uh, if you have any questions, I will be happy to answer, or just uh, let, let's catch later at the expo. All right, thank you, Graziano. Um, yeah, real quick, a uh, round of applause, definitely. <laughs> And just because we have um, the, the press conferences in here, uh, we only have room for like one or two questions if anyone has any. If not, uh, we have one question here. I cannot be more specific about the release date, but it will be a few months. It will be available as a tool for non-programmers, and uh, I think that will be interesting enough for, for users of the plugin platform. So, yeah. okay. so, so thank you for that question. Um, and then uh, any other questions, uh, please uh, feel free to follow up with him. Um, lunch will be served downstairs by the Expo uh, Hall. Um, so make sure to grab lunch, and then we'll see you guys in here at 3 o'clock. Sorry, I was a little bit confused because uh, I, 